the publishing industry is in dire straits. And we're talking about book books and especially the fantasy and science fiction genres. We've been warning for years that there are problems coming. And of course, there have been warning signs for years on top of this that Amazon is manipulating the system in order to, of course, create their monopoly. Once they got their monopoly and they had everybody situated on there, they've been slowly and systematically peeling away any ability for an independent author to create a success. And especially those who are on the right or, or center or right or whatever you want to call it at this juncture. Amazon has torpedoed the market. They are an evil woke corporation beyond any other. And uh, and we've all, including myself, come to too much reliance on that evilness. So when this started to happen uh, a couple years ago, we saw the writing on the wall. If you looked at Castalia House, they pulled most of their stuff off of Amazon at that point. I actually launched my own personal book website on my website also, where I just ship books directly. If you guys want to check things out, you can go down the links in the uh, description below. Go to delarose.com and check out my books. I would appreciate it. But with that writing on the wall came uh, an income stream from people that were propped up by Amazon that now is completely evaporating. Now, another thing that's happened, of course, is bookstores have been closing at alarming rates over the last decade. And this has been something that's been known for a while. So traditional, pu traditional publishers like Bain actually have had to migrate more to Amazon, have had to uh, use their system a little more. And now we're seeing the pitfalls of this as Larry Correa's Monster Hunter International's new book is absolutely failing in sales compared to what it used to be before and is causing major shakeups over at Bain Comics. Now, Larry Correa personally attacked me a couple weeks ago. I, I thought it was odd. It came out of the blue. I wasn't sure what was happening on this. It doesn't make sense. Larry and I should be on the same side of things. We are people who are fighting against the establishment, so I thought... But if you think about it, Larry is part of a big publisher. Bain Books is owned 25% by Tor Books, which is owned by Macmillan as a parent company. This is corporate. This is the people who you know, publish Macmillan, publish Barack Obama's memoirs, right? So these are the people who are controlling the purse strings at the end of the day. I should know that somebody like that views me as a threat to them, doesn't view me as simpatico, even if we politically align on most issues. It's very sad. But I was like, I, this is strange. It came out of the blue. Why is Why am I being attacked of all times by uh, Larry and his acolytes at this point? He made a strange post about me. I mean, it was like, Look at it. I was it was crazy. Look at how long this is. I'm not gonna not gonna go through it in its entirety because it's ridiculous. But uh, absolutely unloaded, like I'm some monster. I, I barely interact with the guy over years. Like I I barely know him, and I I actually like his books, so I'm very confused as to why he would do this. Uh, but I found out like as this book came to release that there's been problems at Bain Books, his publisher, over the last year, and this is what it comes down to. And now with the sales, which I'm gonna reveal right now, of Monster Hunter International. We know why. So Bain Books, one thing that's happened over the past several months is there's been cuts to their new authors line. So a bunch of the authors who were coming up with Bain Books got the chopping block and they just got themselves pulled from the publisher. They're gone now. And uh, they got rid of that to get rid of the fat because at the end of the day, books like Mon Monster Hunter International carry the entire line. Uh, this is how publishing work. The top like 10% pay for everybody else. And actually the bottom 90% usually lose money. Um, it's part of developing new authors and developing new talent. It's it's like research and development for a company at the end of the day. But none of the authors Bain has picked over the last years have been really panning out all that much. They're relying on people from before like Larry to carry the company. It's absolutely absurd. And uh, a lot of Larry's rant actually talks about people riding his coattails and how I attempted to ride his coattails, which is nonsense. I mean, mainly at the end of the day, I didn't attempt to ride his coattails. I did my own thing over here. That's what makes me a threat. I didn't toe the company line. I don't just say what they want. I tell the truth to you, no matter whether it's in my best interest or not. And that's uh, that's something that they can't have over there. But this is what journalism is. This You tell hard truths. And I tell the hard truth about the publishing industry most of all. So that happened. Bain also had a bunch of layoffs at their company. We saw some posts from some very good people who were working at Bain who got laid off by the company uh, in the last couple of months also. So they are cutting big time because the book sales just aren't there in general. And now it's happening with Monster Hunter International. If you scroll down here, you can look at its sales rank on Amazon. Now, if you look at this right here, uh, it's it's nearly in the 10,000 range uh, as far as a hardcover goes. That's in the hundreds uh, in sales uh, as far as things go on this level. Um, and this is a level I, I was showing this when um, the super the gay Superman writer for DC Comics was going off on his ammo because you can get in one of these these categories you can get like a uh, you know 
gay Superman fiction, you know, written for teenage girls, you know, uh, as an audiobook uh, category. And you can get a number one bestseller in that and claim claim you're doing well uh, when truly like the overall sales are what matters. And that's exactly what that guy did, Tom Taylor at DC Comics. And so uh, Larry's been doing much the same thing, declaring victory here, but the sales really are not there. Now, this is great. I would love to have these sales as an independent author around this level. Uh, when I have a book release it, that's about this level, which I, I've had many. Um, you know, I'm, I'm actually doing well, I can pay for myself at this, but with a traditional publisher, because like they have to send the book to their distributor, which then has to send it to Amazon. And he, he has to cut in the publisher, then he has to cut in his co author, then he has to cut in his agent, uh, you're really not making much money at the end of the day on something like this. And so it makes a lot of sense. This is why he's upset with somebody like me, who's presenting an independent alternative. It's not personal at this juncture. And I'm sorry that I took it a little personal, Larry, if you do watch this video, because I know you probably will. Um, yeah, I, I didn't understand that things were like this bad at Bain right now. And I would have been a little more, um, charitable and kind towards you, uh, if I would have seen that, but this is another interesting thing that's happening. This is Caravan of the Damned, Chuck Dixon's novel. And, uh, this comes from Castalia house. You notice it's sold out already on Amazon. Uh, they don't have any <laughs> copies left of this, but, uh, this happened right here. It was, it's already in the top 5,000. So these two books both released this week. And yet a Castalia House independent book uh, by Chuck Dixon, and Chuck Dixon is known for comics, not really novels, uh, is outselling Monster Hunter International. This is absurd and crazy. It does go to show one thing, and there's a reason for this, that the old legacy traditional publishing model is dying, that people are not following it, that they are not marketing and outreaching to new people, while us independent people, the people at Castalia House, me, uh, people in the Iron Age, Razor Fist, uh, and others are marketing towards new readers like yourself who are watching this video right now. Uh, it is something that's paramount, and a lot of the old pub authors view marketing as a bad thing. If you look at Larry's rant, uh, it's mostly about how I attempt to market and how my attempts to market are somehow bad, make me an impure author or something like that. So it's a, it's, a, uh, it's a heresy for me to market my own books. Uh, you're supposed to have a publisher do that for you, right? Uh, it's absurd. And of course, that's a boomer mentality from a long, long time ago that doesn't work for an author who's coming up in today's age. I understand that. If you look at my background, I'm not, I, I don't have an English literary background or anything like that. I have a business background. I, I came from the Haas School of Business at UC Berkeley. I understand marketing. I understand sales more than anything else and operations. So I build systems and I build platforms based on my knowledge of how the platforms work these days. And it's working. I mean, YouTube's growing like crazy here. Probably get some flack for this video just because I'm telling the truth uh, in regards to Larry Coria. Uh, and th this isn't a personal attack on him or anything like that. It's just his sales are not that good. Um, and But at the same time, you come to me for the truth and you know that I'm going to tell you that. So it's very interesting to see here. So marketing is a good thing. Independent authors out there, you need to market. You need to get yourself out there. Uh, find a niche, talk about what you love, uh, make people uh, make something that's interesting for people to want to read and see. And that's how you do things in today's age. So we'll see what happens as Bain uh, has this shake up here. I mean, Monster Hunter is their bestseller. And Monster Hunter is what's carrying the company. So with this sales at this dismal of a level, I don't think things are going to go great for Bain in the future. They have to come up with a new model, they have to not rely on Amazon anymore, or they're going to die. Leave a comment with what you think about this, my friends. Hit the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate you being there. We'll be back soon.